Hey Pisces, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing a timeless reading for you guys. This is the Pisces Marathon and the Pisces Club. So if you're a Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus, please subscribe so you can be a part of it. So the Pisces Marathon is basically me bombarding you with readings all the weekends of September. And the whole point of that is for you to choose the reading that resonates with you the most. There's always going to be a few of them that resonate completely, and the other ones maybe for other Pisces. So you can find that out this weekend and binge watch the ones that resonate. Alright, know that these are also timeless. So if you find this video later, after the weekend, or next week, or whatever, maybe not even in September, that's perfectly fine. The message might be looking for you, all right? Today I'm going to be doing a Celtic cross for Pisces. I'm going to be taking every card upright. As I go ahead and um, design or just set in place a reading, I want to let you guys know that there's a massive sale on my website. So everything, all the four online courses that I offer are $24.99. That's the lowest price I've ever offered them. And you can buy them at the low price and then do them in your own time, all right? There's no time restriction for them. There's the Abundance Blueprint to heal your relationship with money. The Past Life Regression course to get to know a little bit more about your soul journey. Tarot Level 1 course for beginners. And the Shamanic Journey series for those who want to have a very gentle and powerful introduction into shamanism, all right? All the information is going to be linked below. Wow, Pisces. Okay, I'm definitely, definitely loving this. We've got the star as the outcome. This is supposed to be the last card that I <laughs> talk about, but I'm going to start with this one because that means that this is where you're headed, Pisces, to wish fulfillment. You are headed to the manifestation of that desire that you have asked upon the stars, upon the universe, that special either goal or object or relationship or health diagnosis, whatever, any result that you've been meaning to manifest that you will love to experience is coming, all right? And it's coming, what I'm getting inside, it's not coming in the way that you thought it was coming, it's coming in a way that's better for you. And you're immediately going to realize that, okay? Now, your main situation here, you've got the Nine of Cups. So right now, Pisces, you might be feeling quite abundant, quite happy, honestly. Feeling emotionally fulfilled, even feeling like you can indulge a little bit, you know? You can have fun. <laughs> You can enjoy your cups. I laugh because every Ciro Marchetti deck has his initials here or somewhere in the cards. And those are my initials, so I always get kind of like, whoa. <laughs> but it's just the, it's the author of the deck. Um, so yeah, you may be indulging a little bit right now. Maybe drinking a bit, maybe having a little bit more fun, maybe shopping a little bit more or indulging and flirting or new love whatever it is it's beautiful here embrace it i'm, get, I'm getting a very beautiful positive energy here from the nine of cups it's time to celebrate pisces it's time to recognize um, how far you've come the challenge right now is the two of cups that's interesting so maybe there's a union here that wants to come together and it's not for some reason not yet at least um, these are two souls that really want to connect on the physical, that want to be able to hold each other's hands, right? If you are already connected in the physical, there is a desire to reconnect the passion, the physicality, the, the maybe even the sexuality in a partnership. This could be a little bit difficult, there could be certain obstacles here, but I don't think it's anything to worry about, Pisces, because I feel like you're really happy, and it seems like you definitely get what you want. So maybe it's a delay, perhaps, in regards to some kind of romantic relationship or partnership of some sort. In the near future, I'm sorry, in the recent past, not the near future, in the recent past, you are represented with the High Priestess here. So you're definitely in a period of your life in which intuition is playing a very important role. You're definitely getting um, intuitive messages, tons of wisdom. I feel like 
I feel like Pisces, you have gone through so much, and all of that kind of like wisdom and lessons and experiences have kind of like gathered in a little box inside of you. <laughs> and it's like you're living in a very relaxed way, happy, very much in the present moment, or you try to. And then whenever you need this wisdom, it's there. But it's it's not like overpowering. It's like you are not your wisdom. Your wisdom is part of who you are. You are right now shining brighter. Your personality, your humanness, your lightheartedness is shining brighter. And then whenever you need the wisdom, it is definitely there for you and for those who might need it around you. In your mind space, you've got the seven of pentacles. Look at her face. She looks so proud. She looks so proud with her harvest, with her pentacles. She's happy. The seeds that she has planted finally have given um, some rewards. Not all of the rewards that they're going to bring, but a good amount. You know, she's happy. She seems like she is proud of her efforts. And I love that. I love that, Pisces. Because right now, mentally, you may be, you know, quite satisfied with where you are. And I love that for you. In the near future, you've got the King of Swords. Someone could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that is going to be coming in the future. This person is quite serious as opposed to the one that represents you who's you know, very happy. So this could be a person who is um, related to some kind of authority. All right, so this could be... I'm getting the energy of the Hierophant a little bit, like banks, um, institutions, universities, hospitals, things like that, someone authoritative. This person is very serious. They're not negative, but they're serious. Very objective, very mental, very intellectual, very smart. So I feel like this is an external person coming in to make some kind of deal with you. Maybe this is someone from the bank that you're, you know, asking for a loan or something like that. And they're kind of like going through your um, situation or whatever. Or this could be um, a director at a university or a teacher, a mentor. This could be um, someone who needs to approve something. This person is serious. They may even appear very intimidating, but they don't have to be. They're actually quite kind and very intuitive themselves. Right now, um, what the universe wants you to know is that there is going to be a lot of travel, lots of travel coming in. Some of you are going to be um, visiting Africa very unexpectedly, which is a surprise. It wasn't in the plans. Some of you guys um, are being recommended by the universe to save. You will be in a very abundant time and it's okay to indulge Pisces, but it's also smart to save. Because you're going to be traveling a lot and you're going to need the money. Not that you're going to need it, need it, you know, but it's going to really come in handy to have that saving. Now, you are being represented by the Six of Pentacles. This is beautiful. When I saw this card immediately, I thought of the Two of Pentacles, which is a card of choices. But it didn't really resonate. And now I look further and it's actually the Six of Pentacles. This is the universe bringing in lots of abundance. This is money being given to you so this could be bonuses new opportunities um, inheritance this could be someone approving a loan for a property a car or a personal loan of some sort so if that resonated with you it's probably going to be coming through all right um this is also receiving and giving very um fluently because abundance is all over the place it's, it's everywhere now, you've got the Four of Wands in your environment. This is beautiful. That me This means that the energies around you, maybe astrologically, maybe in your surroundings, maybe the people that are around you, are all valuing stability, valuing maybe marriage, long-term relationships. Maybe someone around you sees this future with you. They want to be with you. They want to be... Um, in a partnership, a long-term commitment with you. They see you being abundant, and they may be very abundant themselves, and so they see you as a potential partner here. With the page of coins as your hope and fear. Hmm. Page of coins as a hope is... 
Well, this is interesting. I'm not really connecting to the actual traditional message of the card. What catches my attention here is the little Bambi. <laughs> the little, little deer. In, in shamanic traditions, uh, every animal has kind of like an animal medicine to it, right? And we have the deer and the butterfly. So what I'm getting here, the deer is actually unconditional love, purity of heart, no ill intent. And the butterfly is transformation. And they seem to be meeting in love. So you may be um, very inclined to a transformation that transforms you from a very unconditional loving person to someone more, you know, like the King of Swords, or vice versa. Maybe you were very hard and now you're coming into unconditional love. I am not connecting at all to the message of this card. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not even going to go there. The Page of Coins. It's just not... It's like this is not even part of the card. I'm just seeing this, which is crazy, right? But I'm gonna follow my intuition. That's why you're here, probably, so. <laughs> and with this star here, guys, come on, this is beautiful. Wish fulfillment, joy, happiness, stability. If some of you guys are wishing for abundance, you've got it. If some of you guys are wishing for um, romantic love, and stable commitment, you've got it, Pisces. You've got it. It's yours, all right? It's yours. The stars wish fulfillment, two of cups, and the four of wands, all right? I love this for you, Pisces. Um, let's pull additional cards. I just want to use this deck a little bit more. <laughs> let's see what additional messages are coming through. I don't know if you guys have noticed, um, those of you who are returning subscribers and tend to watch the readings a lot on the daily, you've probably noticed that I'm using one different deck on every single reading. I'm trying to actually go through my whole collection. Let's see if that can happen. I have quite a bit of a collection, I have to say. I think I have hoarding tendencies. <laughs> but I take it very seriously, you know? I hunt down the weirdest decks and I love it. And I'm trying to use them all. And, you know, this one I never really use, and it's nice. Alrighty. Messages for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Pisces. Relevant messages for Pisces. We've got the... I'm taking every of the cards um, upright. So we got the Page of Wands, Pisces. You may be um, feeling quite energetic, quite passionate, quite inspired to live life and go on an adventure. You may not know what to do with all this energy. I feel like some of you guys want to travel, want to experience art and passion and romance and life and risks and I don't know, it's just a very fiery energy. We've got the lovers. Some of you guys could be dealing with new love or existing love with either a Gemini, an Aries, a Leo, or a Sag. All right? Some of you need to make a choice. Could be a choice in love. It seems here like you are ready, Pisces, for a perhaps romantic relationship that is based on a balanced give and take of energy and effort. We have the Three of Pentacles here, the Hierophant. Commitment, long-term commitment, marriage, the lovers here, commitment to one soul, to one person. I mean, you know, that's not for everyone, right? Um, I'm not here to judge. Everyone gets to decide what kind of relationship they want, right? But what I'm getting here through these cards is that it's going to be a very balanced union. With the Three of Pentacles, it's teamwork. It's, you know, both people um, investing in the union, investing in the commitment. Some of you guys are going to get married. And it's not going to be paid by just one of the of a person. It's actually going to be a shared thing. The wedding is going to be paid half and half. Or it's going to be not sponsored, <laughs> but it's going to, you know, parents are going to pitch in, it seems, if that resonates with you. 
someone here wants to give you money. It may make you feel a little bit uncomfortable, especially if it's for your wedding. Um, some of you guys are not going to feel, you know, all that comfortable with taking money from your in-laws or whatever. Um, but this is something they want to do very genuinely if this is something that resonates with you. It's definitely related to love and abundance. You're in the right path, Pisces. You are in the right path, Two of Swords. But there's definitely choices that need to be made. I've got the devil here. Capricorn energy. Um, there's definitely some choices, and these choices um, make you feel uncomfortable. They make you feel tense, they make you feel afraid, they bring up all sorts of insecurities within you. Could be related to money, could be related to commitment, could be related to um, opening up to love, new love perhaps. Take what resonates, um, not everything is going to resonate with you, obviously. And if this reading is just not your reading, that is perfectly fine. There is a menu <laughs> of readings that are available to you in the channel. Look at this. All right, this is interesting. This is interesting, guys. Um, in various readings, we have seen the number 222, two, two, right? 222 two, two, repeated numbers, number sequences, sacred numbers. This is crazy but we have card number two of wands two of swords and two of cups and the card that i thought was the two of pentacles but it's actually the six all lined up here well i lined it up but you know what i mean <laughs> um you may be seeing this number a lot eight 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 also five five six six synchronicities magic in your life Things coming together quite unexpectedly, interestingly. It's very beautiful. So yeah, this is what I have for you, Pisces. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. Thank you for joining me. And I invite you to the Pisces Club and to the Pisces Marathons that I'm going to be doing every weekend in September. I don't know if that's going to continue afterwards, so I think it's best to invite you to enjoy this month in case the weekends don't come back. Um, I'm loving them. I really am, but I know it's a bit much. But the whole point, you know, it's not necessarily for you to watch them all. I know that many of you do, and I really appreciate that. And if you find it relaxing, that is great. I love sharing this with you. But the whole point of having so many readings, too, um, is for you to maybe look at the titles, check out the menu, and find the titles that resonate with you the most, okay? You're going to feel called to one reading over another, most likely. And if you feel like you want to indulge and, and do the marathon and watch them all, oh my gosh, yay. <laughs> you know, I would love that. Because many readings actually become a little redundant. The messages repeat themselves and they serve as confirmation of the good things coming. Pisces, I love you. I love you so much. Um, I have a sale on my website for you in case you feel like you resonate with any of the following online experiences. The Abundance Blueprint course to heal your relationship with money once and for all. The Past Life Regression course to get to know a little bit more about your soul journey. Tarot Level 1 to learn how to read tarot cards for beginners. And last but not least, the Shamanic Journey series to um, give your first steps into shamanism and connect to animal spirit guides. Alright, everything is very interesting. I have created it with much love. And every one of them right now is just $24.99, which is the lowest price I've ever offered them. And you can take advantage of the offer price and then do them on your own time. There's no time restriction, so you can you can like buy them all at this price, and then when the price goes higher, you're already gonna have them, right? You can do them in your own time. I love you, fishies. I'll see you very, very soon. I can't help it, but here is the Knight of Cups, an offer of love. Might bring a little bit of anxiety. I can't help myself. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I just I don't know, I felt called. Okay, Pisces, I'll see you soon. See you in the next reading.